This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and on this channel I've demonstrated how to penetrate some of the most secure equipment out there, usually using some very simple tools. But it's almost always done right here on my desk. It's a controlled environment that might not be equivalent to field conditions. So today, I'm taking you on the road with me. You see, I just got a call from my ex-girlfriend who's having a problem. Her new boyfriend is apparently having trouble getting in her back door. It's really tight and she told him to stop trying because all he was doing was pushing really hard and she was afraid something would break. But she remembered that when we were dating, I used to go in through her back door all the time. This is a picture of her back door. She just sent it to me and I don't see any reason why this should be a problem. Frankly, it looks looser than it was back when we were dating. So while her boyfriend's at work, she asked me to come over and see if I could help loosen things up. I of course agreed, so long as I could get it on video and share it on this channel. So let's drive over and see if we can get in her back door without breaking anything. Okay folks, here we are and I have to say that my ex-girlfriend's back door is far dirtier than it ever used to be back when we were dating. It seems to have been neglected pretty badly, but I'm actually glad to find it this way. So you can see why I always keep baby wipes handy whenever I do anything like this. So let's get one out and wipe all of this brown residue away. Okay, this is pretty dirty. It might be a two wipe job. Okay, now that we have the outside just a little bit cleaner, it's time to flush out the inside as well. And because we need to lubricate this anyway, I'm going to flush out the main opening with a good bit of lube. We just need to be sure to keep a towel underneath that opening so we don't make a mess. Here it makes a lot of sense to be generous with that lubricant. Back doors tend to be neglected so you can't have too much. Okay, we are almost ready, but before I go any further, I need to put on some rubber for my own protection. Now, depending on various factors, I should note that the opening could be in an awkward position. And all I have to say about that is deal with it. It's not uncommon, especially when you're going in through the back door. Now I can't just shove in my tool. I need to be very gentle and wiggle things into position if I'm going to stand any chance of getting in. I think we're there. All it needs now is a firm shove and we are in. Now you need to understand that just because I got in her back door doesn't mean that her boyfriend will be able to as well. So I need to spend some time working it in and loosening it up. But I'm going to do that off camera. So that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe and have a great April 1st.